Following on the news a few weeks ago that The Walking Dead Onslaught dropped co-op, with the delays on After the Fall and still no sign of multiplayer support for Half-Life Alex workshop tools, I've started to think more about why so few AAA companies are investing in compelling multiplayer VR. I imagine there must be some technical limitation to making the avatar interactions in multiplayer games feel compelling. When I saw a virtual fighting championship and received a recommendation from a trusted friend in the VR esports scene that it was worth trying, I jumped in, but I'm afraid my expectations were a bit too high. Don't get me wrong, as far as multiplayer VR combat is concerned, it's decent. But after playing Boneworks, Blade and Sorcery, and The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, I'm really looking for multiplayer interactions that can replicate those kinds of physics. I felt a bit limited in what I could do, and immediately when I couldn't open my hands and grab my opponent, I started to sort of lose interest. When I've had this conversation about technical limitations before, I often get replies along the lines of, what about Echo Arena, or Onward, or any other number of multiplayer VR games? When you really dig into it, the actual interactions between players in these games are pretty limited. In Echo Arena, you pass through other players unless you click the grip button. And while you can vault off players, you can't really push them. It kind of feels like you're interacting with them, but aside from punching directly in the head, the other players don't really react to the touch. Instead, your own avatar moves in response to the interactions. I assume that's by design to limit your impact on other players. I mean, you can only imagine holding a player down all game so they couldn't participate. But that combined with a limited playfield side means you have a fairly well-defined set of things to account for. In games like Onward and some other first-person shooters in VR, the fast pace makes you feel like you're interacting with other players, but you don't really ever touch them. The melee mechanics are pretty simple as far as I can tell. If your knife collides with the general area of another player, they take damage. You can't really grab a player or knife them in a certain spot like you can in Blade and Sorcery. Speaking of Blade and Sorcery, which is really well known for its physics, it does have multiplayer mods, but the other player appears basically as a floating head and hands. You can't really interact with them the same way you interact with other NPCs. And I would love to hear from the developers of the multiplayer mod what sort of challenges they face when they try to implement it. So what do you think? Are AAA studios skipping multiplayer because of the physics issues? Or do they just feel the market isn't going to respond enough to co-op to make it worth including the games given the challenges? There's also a whole other can of worms around harassment in multiplayer games when the physics allows you to manipulate other players. I'm not sure we're quite ready for that. Thanks for watching and refraining from using my avatar to make lewd gestures in Echo Arena.